Okay, so this is the part two. I'm trying to get this done. This is the peanuts. That's good. been craving the play pots I've been craving the slates I've been craving everything ever since I ran out of my stock big broken big size slate bars 400 grams hmm. so some look like that and then some look like the grooves. Very dusty. So good. Mm. 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 I got a white slate bar, two hundred grams. Not sure if I'll be able to bite into this. I know these are pretty. Mm. 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 Hold up. Why does this one taste earthier than what I just had? This straight up tastes like rain. Not that high at all. Mmm. 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 This may go right away. <laughs> it's really good. It's very earthy. You just have to have the teeth to like bite into it. But once you get, it's not even like that hard, hard. I mean, you just have to use your back teeth. And then once you get a break in it, it's easy to chew down. Very earthy. That's so weird how I got white slate, like the broken slates, but the shell it tastes very different from the broken slates. It, it's like very earthy, like. Mm. It's like rain for a percher, percher, percher. I don't know that word, but it's very. Oh, I'm sorry. And these are red slates, red thick slate pencils. And it is dusty. Mmm. Usually, red slates are hard. But 
This is soft. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mmm. It tastes fresh, just like how a red slate is supposed to taste. That irony, um, not metallic, but the irony, earthy taste that it has, definitely. It's good. And it's soft. So it's like easy to crunch on. And you're not just like so next I have this the slate pencils uh the Chen Chander Chandatera brand mm. Let's see what it's all about it's pretty thin Mm. Mm. the crunchiness is so satisfying and it's not as soft or as hard it's like medium um it just breaks down not really into a pace but like just graduals of sleep. That's so good. And last but not least, red Nukamat clay fine powder, two hundred and or four hundred and fifty grams. And I got this so that I could like. <clears throat> make paste because um I really enjoy eating my slates with paste and I also found out that well not found out but discovered that slates actually taste a lot better when you're eating it with nuka mat or some type of nuka mat whatever nuka mat you prefer me personally i like red nuka mat number one and second would be half roasted i can't do full i just can't it's too strong for me but i like dry fruit so Mmm, girl. Mmm. 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 Almost. But, girl, this is so good. Mmm. 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 I can't wait to make that into a paste. So good. Kind of spilled some on me, but it's fine. I 
overall satisfied with this order. I ordered this on Etsy from Tex, T-E-X, or Via, V-I-A. Um, I did more orders. I did another order from, order from Tara, um, Tara, Tara Cravings. I did another order from See My Dimples. And I did another order from India. So those are going to be coming in sometime <clears throat> this next week or something. But I'm just glad that I was able to get this one today because I've been craving like crazy. And I get to do more videos. And yeah, I did have a question on my YouTube, one of my YouTube videos. <clears throat> and somebody asked me how I started eating like pika pika or how I became pika or when did I start and if I have health issues um so I <clears throat> wanted to answer that question because I told them I would answer the question on my unboxing video but I started eating sand when I was small little girl and mm, my mom used to eat sand mm, and she would get this real fine sand in an envelope and she would just like eat it and she would give me some and I would always enjoy eating it with her and like when it would rain and the sand would like shrivel up and like where the puddles of mud were were where it would shrivel up with the from the sun, I would take those and I would just eat it like chips. And my cousins would think I'm weird, but I didn't care. I still ate them and it was really good. Um where I live, there's a lot of I, mean, I live in Arizona, so it's like a lot of dry desert place. And where I got my sand from, it, there wasn't really anybody living around. Or it wasn't in a city or a town. It was more like a remote area. And I would stay with my grandma. And that's where I would get my sand from. <clears throat> um, my mom's side of the family, they... Like, I have some cousins that eat sand, too. And so, but they don't, they don't order it, or they just get the sand from remote areas where we live. And I found out about slates and Indian clay and all this during COVID, when everybody was quarantining. I just typed in eating sand on YouTube and I came across the channel where all these Indian people were eating slate sand, dipping it into different pastes. And I was just like, I didn't even know there was a whole community of people who enjoy eating sand like me. Because I thought I was weird. <laughs> but uh, I just... I just caught on to it and I discovered, or not, yeah, kind of like discovered it for myself. And then I tried ordering and once I ordered it and tried it, I really, really, really began to like eating slates and I prefer eating slates and nuka mat and um, clay pots over what I have around me, like going to the remote areas and picking sand and stuff I prefer to order it now and I don't go looking for it around where I live I just order it and it's been a habit now since for like three years I started three years ago and I'm still going on I just find myself ordering more now 
um, before I would order only like 200 grams of like just like little bags of everything. But now I'm starting to order like kg. I'm starting to order like 500 grams. Like because it's that. I mean, I would have to say I, it just lasts longer and, you know, I'm always craving. So it's, it's beginning to grow on me and I don't see anything wrong with it. I haven't had any issues, probably just constipation, but, um, everybody who would eat something that's not meant for eating would probably you know I, I would assume that they would have some type of issue with um, eating something that's not food <laughs> so um I do get that way but you know, drink a lot of water um, drink a lot of water eat don't stop eating food <laughs> And if you have to, take stool softeners. The fuck? I mean, what else are you going to do, right? Like, you're not going to stop eating the shit, so you might as well just do what you got to do to make yourself okay to eat more. Um, But, yeah, that's how I started. It's, I'm still going on eating it, being a pica person. And those are my health issues. Um, not really anything serious, but you yeah, know, if there was, I'm I would know to stop. I would know to slow my roll. But so far, I'm good. And I hope that answers your question. But I'm so happy I got my order today this is all I've been waiting for tomorrow's my birthday so this is like a early birthday gift to me to myself <laughs> because no one's not gonna go out of their way and like buy me sand or buy me nougat or buy me slates you know my family don't like the fact that I eat this stuff but I do and yeah pretty much a birthday gift to myself and I'm satisfied with it. I can't wait for my other orders to come in and do some more unboxing with you guys. But for now, this is all. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and the little uh, talking sesh. Mm, yeah. There's going to be a part one, part two. Mm, but if you guys have any requests on what you would like to see me crunch can hit me up in my comments I usually do them but you gotta you gotta ask me what the things I do have not things I don't have so the things I just showed you just now are the stuff that I have so keep that in mind and I'll see you guys later have a good day